Okay, so I got my sanitizer here. There's no one around. Everything's safe. All right, great. There you go. Hola y bienvenido. Sorry. A few minutes later. Hola y bienvenido a Spring Spanish. I am Juan, and I am one of the online teachers at Spring Spanish. Espero que estén sanos y salvos. I hope you're safe and healthy, manteniendo la distancia social, keeping social distance, y lavándote las manos, washing your hands. That's right. Today we'll talk about el coronavirus en español. Coronavirus in Spanish. So, if you want to be able to speak to Spanish natives about it and how it is in your country or in theirs, this is the video you'll want to watch. Acompáñenme. Wait, I mean, acompáñenme, pero de lejitos, okay? Join me, but from a safe distance, okay? Farther. No farther than that. Okay, well, give me a second. There you go. Acompáñenme. Coronavirus, COVID, COVID-19, COVID-19. This pandemic has become such a big topic nowadays that if you're learning Spanish, it's a good idea you also know how to talk about it. So today I prepare some chunks para ayudarte a hablar del COVID, to help you talk about COVID. Even though these are definitely dire times for humanity, Try and make the most of your lockdown time by learning Spanish and subscribe to our channel. We publish five weekly lessons, so also hit the bell button to get the notifications and finally get to speak fluent Spanish. First, let's learn some general vocabulary you'll hear a lot when talking about COVID in Spanish. La pandemia. Pandemic. La cuarentena, the quarantine or lockdown. Distanciamiento social or la sana distancia. Social distancing or how my friends in Mexico call it, Susana distancia. Hola, soy Susana distancia. Gel desinfectante, sanitizing gel. Saludar con el codo, elbow greeting. El hisopado, the swab. La prueba, the test. Cubrebocas, tapabocas, mascarilla o barbijo, the face mask. In a minute, I'll show you how to use these words in chunks. But first, let's learn some to talk about COVID with our Spanish speaking friends. Eso sí. Preferiblemente en videollamada. Preferably by video call. ¿Cómo está la situación del coronavirus en tu país? How's the COVID situation in your country? Espero que tú y tu familia estén sanos. I hope you and your family are healthy. ¿Cuándo termina la cuarentena? When does the lockdown end? ¿Has sentido algún síntoma recientemente? Have you experienced any symptoms lately? Yes. We all fear that previous question. Hopefully you're being careful, but if by any chance you need to address this issue in Spanish-speaking community, you better have your chunks prepared for it. Let's talk about los síntomas del coronavirus, the coronavirus symptoms. Pequeño comentario acá. Little disclaimer here. I'm no expert, and the facts about coronavirus change all the time. These are not official recommendations, but suggestions in Spanish. If you have questions about coronavirus, por favor consulta a un verdadero doctor. Please ask a real doctor. Si te contagias de coronavirus, puede que no muestres síntomas hasta después de varios días. If you get coronavirus, you might not experience symptoms until some days after. Los primeros síntomas del coronavirus son fiebre, tos y pérdida del olfato. The first symptoms of 
coronavirus are fever, cough, and a loss of smell. Lo más peligroso del virus es que es aéreo y se contagia fácilmente. Most dangerous thing about the virus is that it is airborne and it's highly contagious. Las personas con casos más avanzados pueden presentar serios problemas respiratorios. People with the most advanced stages can experience serious breathing problems. La población más vulnerable son los ancianos, con una alta tasa de mortalidad por el virus. The most vulnerable population are seniors with a high rate of mortality because of the virus. Also, here are some questions you can ask if you're experiencing symptoms or suspect you've been infected. ¿Dónde puedo reportar un caso de coronavirus? Where can I report a coronavirus case? ¿Me puede llamar una ambulancia, por favor? Creo que tengo coronavirus. Can you call an ambulance, please? I think I have coronavirus. Creo que tengo fiebre. ¿Puede hacerme una prueba de coronavirus? I think I have a fever. Can I get tested for coronavirus? Let me give you some examples about my personal situation today, November 11. En Argentina, actualmente se han registrado 1.2 millones de casos de coronavirus. In Argentina, currently there's been 1.2 million registered cases of coronavirus. El gobierno decretó una cuarentena estricta desde marzo hasta septiembre. Siete meses. The government issued a strict quarantine from March up to September. Seven months. What about your country? Are you in quarantine? How's the situation in your city? Do you know any cases of coronavirus near you? Let me know in the comments so we can talk about it in Spanish. Casi terminamos por hoy. We're almost finished for today. But first, let me give you some of the most common tips recommended by experts in Spanish so you can stay safe during the pandemic. Recuerda quedarte en casa. Solo sal si es estrictamente necesario. Remember to stay at home. Only go out if it's strictly necessary. Evita tocarte la cara y practica la distancia social. Avoid touching your face and practice social distancing. Siempre usa tu mascarilla o barbijo en espacios públicos. Always use your mask in public spaces. Lávate las manos con jabón frecuentemente y usa gel desinfectante. Wash your hands with soap frequently and use sanitizing gel. Muy bien, now you can ask your friends how they are coping with this pandemic and give tips on how to stay safe. And please stay safe everybody out there. If you're in quarantine and you would like to use that time to learn more Spanish, feel free to check out the other videos from me and the other Spring Spanish teachers on our channel for Spanish beginners. Now, if you're ready to take it a step further and be able to talk about happier topics than this in Spanish, we have a free Spanish training on our website where you'll discover the method we use in our Spring Spanish Academy to teach students to speak fluent Spanish. You also get some free samples of Spanish lessons there that come straight from our Academy. If you're interested, just click the link in the description to sign up. Adios! Don't forget to subscribe, drop a like, and share this video with your friends.